This is a PlayStation 1. The only console that I have in my home. Because I'm a PC gamer. And I thought I had no consoles. But the other day, I found this. Underneath the television cabinet, or whatever you want to call this. And as a PC gamer, naturally, I decided that I need to get rid of it. So, there would be two ways to do this. There's the way where you can smash it with a hammer. Or there's the way where you can turn the console into a computer. So that it is no longer a console, it is a computer. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn this PlayStation 1 into a PC. Which, uh, I'm just going to be cheesy and I'm going to call it the PlayStation Computer. The most creative name ever made. The creative, yeah, whatever, whatever. And, yeah. So, yes, that's basically what I'm going to do. Get rid of the PlayStation so that I can be rid of all consoles. Because consoles are dumb, PCs are way better, and, yeah, something. So... There's two ways to do this. The first way will be the easy way. Well, it is the easy way, which is where you just take a PlayStation 1, take it apart, and just take out the components inside. No, what? Wrong way around. You can take out the components, put in a computer, motherboard, and other stuff, and you can call it a day. But that way is boring. All you've done is just transfer the thing over. So basically, my plan is to make it more complicated and make sure that it works like fluidly and nicely and good and stuff. So the things I'm planning to do are I want the power button to work. Yes, the power button must work. That is step one. That's the most obvious one. Uh, secondly, I want because there's these memory cards in the front, memory card slots in the front. I'm going to turn these into like USB ports. Yes, that's what they're called. I'm going to turn them to USB ports because uh, the memory card slots will become useless. I might as well make some use of it. So yeah. And thirdly, I'm going to see if I can turn this PlayStation disc reader into a wall. Yeah, PlayStation reader. Whoa, there's a game in there. Whoops. Wow, what's this? Let's advertise a game that probably doesn't exist anymore. Siphonic. Nope. Siphon filter. Whatever. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna take the uh, PlayStation disc reader and try and see if I can su successfully put in a DVD reader so that I can actually use DVDs and CDs, which no one uses anymore. But yeah. So, I guess let's get started. So I guess the first step is to take the PlayStation apart. So all I need for now is like a variety of screwdrivers. Wrong way. Yeah. And if I need anything else later, I guess I can find it somewhere. You can see like scissors over here. But yeah. That's all I need for now. So I will take it apart. And see what I have to work with. This will be interesting. Yes, all the screws are off, so hopefully I can just lift this off now. Oh yeah, well that was easy. And whoa, so, I guess you can see the inside of this lid is nothing special, it's just a cover. So the way that CD drive gear thing is pretty cool. Uses an assortment of gears. Anyways, that's not the point, is it? matters is what's inside here. So, let's see if I can zoom in on this. Aha. Uh -huh. Let me spin it a bit. Oh, okay. Oh, let's move it. There we go. Kind of. 
that's bothering me. Temporary something. Okay. What way am I moving it to get it in? There we go, it's centered. So, I don't know, I have to... Oh, well, this comes right off. The disc reader is just held on by nothing. Ooh, it's plugged in. I should probably figure out how to unplug that. It's like stuck in. I'm gonna be careful with that and not do anything stupid. For now, I'll just leave it on. Because I, yeah. Oh, I don't really care about breaking it because I never use this. But I don't want to, like, destroy something. Also, there's more screws holding this metal tray in place. So, more unscrewing. And I'll be back. Okay, screws off. Unplug these cables because they are not needed. Okay, there's like some sort of contraption plastic thing keeping them in place. Who cares? Let's see if the tray comes off now. Or if I miss the screw. Oh, I may have to unplug something here. Well, this thing is pissing me off. Why won't it come out? See, I don't know if that's supposed to come out. But I feel like it should. Aha. Okay. Okay, well, the only thing that's stopping it from coming off is the disk drive. So let's see if there's a way to take this thing out. Aha, it is supposed to come out. It's just stuck in there really tight. Okay. That's what she said. Okay. Tray is off. So yeah, I guess I won't be needing this thing anymore. Yee. The DVD, not DVD, PlayStation Disc Reader. And I'll just place that here for now. Move that off to the side. So yes, there are two motherboards in the PS. And it appears there's also more unscrewing to do. Funnily enough, there's arrows pointing to every screw on this thing. So it's like they actually want you to take it apart. Otherwise, why would they have arrows on every single screw holder area? Okay. So this is coming right off. This, so the power delivery thing has its own componentry area. So wait a minute, let me re-say re that. This is the power supply, basically. So they have the power supply on a PCB thing, which doesn't really matter. I'll place that off to the side. Let me find a box to put it on. Because box don't conduct anything. Or cardboard doesn't conduct anything. English. And this also comes right off. Let's do some Sony advertising. Sony. Sony. Does this one have Sony? No, it doesn't. The one thing that doesn't have Sony. Sony. More Sony. 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 So yeah, basically the entire motherboard is a Sony advertisement. And anything special about it, I'm looking. 
Nope, nothing. It's just a motherboard, except for a PlayStation, not a PC. And yeah, I think I should figure out a way to take this off. Aha, more screws. Of course. And more arrows pointing to the screws. So Sony really did expect you to take it apart back when this was released. I don't know when this is from. But it's old. Oh, and the entire thing comes apart. So yes, two metal pieces. It's interesting. And now all I have left is the bottom casing. And where did it go? It is somewhere. In the top. And the top. Yes. So technically, though I'd never do this, I could scam someone on eBay or Craigslist. I could take a photo of this from the head-on angle and say, I have a PlayStation 1. Except that there's nothing in it. But yeah. So looking at these pieces, I don't think I'll be able to actually use any of them if I want to turn this into a computer. Because they're all non computery stuff, basically. So yeah. I guess that's basically it for this first video. It's just taking apart the PlayStation 1, seeing what I have to work with. So wait, I think I will bring the camera over. Wait a second, let me make some room and show what I have over here. Just to give a general look at what I'm working with. So yeah, I'm coming to steal the camera. Okay, this takes a while. No, it doesn't. Okay. Woo! So yes, the two plastic casings. And let's see, I should just stand on the chair. There we go. Scissors, excuse me. And yeah, that was the original piece. There's motherboardy stuff. And then two plastic pieces. So really, whoops, that is zoom in, not zoom out. There isn't much. And the main things I'll be using is the two case pieces. But yeah, I guess that's basically it. Part one was dissection. Ah, uh, let's see if I can put this back on properly. No, I can't. Yes, I can. Thanks for watching. Peace.